Hey, Mama Selena for African Daisy, and this is Wednesday in the Word. I hope that you're having a fantastic week. And no matter what is going on, I really hope that, um, and I pray that God will just give you complete and total peace. Uh, one of the things that moving to a new country, uh, you know, for, even for Selena to adjust to school, uh, and uh, because her her schooling was very different in the States. Uh, we were, I homeschooled her and we traveled a lot. So it was, um, so this, even just going to school uh, is a whole different uh, thing for her. And of course, being in a new country and uh, even the same for me, there's things that as much as, um, uh, since I was 16 years old, I've been traveling back and forth, uh, but still there are things that, uh, you know, are things, you know, things that you have to work through and there are challenges and all those. And uh, one of the things that I am so grateful for is that our God is a good God and he loves us so, 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 so much. And he always takes care of us. He always protects us. He always provides for us, always. And uh, so one of the things that uh, I want to read here, the first verse I wanna read is in Isaiah 41, verse 13. It's very, this isn't going to be a long one, <laughs> but I just wanted to share this because it was one, it was a verse that I, I would send with Selena and I would tell her in the mornings before she went to school. So it says, for I, the Lord, your God, keep hold of your right hand. I am the Lord who says to you, do not fear. I will help you. And then it keeps going on. Do not fear. I will help you, declares the Lord. And God is so faithful that no matter what we're going through, he is holding our hand. And we know that uh, the, when it talks about the right hand, uh, it says in verse 10 uh, of Isaiah 41, verse 10, it says, I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand a hand of justice, of power, of victory, and of salvation. That is so awesome because it takes it from just being like, I'm just holding a hand, which is huge. You know, you think about it, if, if you take uh, your daughter's, your, your, your daughter takes your hand, right? The way it feels, or even when you, if you remember back as a child, when you would just take your mommy or daddy's hand, you know, and how you felt, or, you know, as a married woman, when I take my husband's hand and I hold it and I feel like, I feel so secure and safe. Um, and that's how God is. God holds our hand and, and, um, it's a hand of justice, power, victory, and of salvation. So no matter what it is we're going through. So we know that God is right next to us, holding our hand, and he says, I will help you. So just be encouraged that whatever you're going through, God will help you walk through it with his righteous right hand. And then um, let's turn to, these seem kind of uh, maybe, I don't know, opposite or whatever, but I just... I just thought it was a really good uh, verse. It was in Habakkuk. Uh, what is this? Habakkuk 3. <laughs> it's the last page of Habakkuk, Habakkuk 3, 17. And it says, Though the fig tree does not blossom, and there is no fruit on the vine, Though the yield of the olive fails and the fields produce no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there are no cattle in the stalls, yet I will choose to rejoice in the Lord. I will choose to shout in exaltation in the victorious God of my salvation. 
The Lord God is my strength, my source of courage, my invincible army. He has made my feet ready and steady and sure like hinds feet and makes me walk forward with spiritual confidence on my high places of challenge and responsibility. I absolutely love that. There are so many things, regardless of our circumstances, regardless of if everything seems to be going the opposite way. And I've seen it in my life where everything felt like it was going the opposite way or it even was going the, the opposite way. And I was like, what in the world is going on? Yet, I will choose to rejoice in the Lord. Yet, I will choose uh, to shout in exultation in the victorious God of my salvation. Even though I have not seen it, I will stand by faith. I will choose to rejoice in the victorious God of my salvation. Because a lot of times we, we also realize that God wants us, it's like a parent, you know, we know what we're going to do for our children and we're going to give them good things. We're going to do good things for our children, right? So is like our God. He's going to do good things for us. And he's, he loves us and he wants us to trust him. And so when the child keeps coming over and over and over, um, or like crying, 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 just crying, crying, crying. Like, I just don't know. Like, you know, am I going to be able to, you know, um, I don't know, whatever their thing is, right? And yet, and, and we do that to God, though. We do that to God where we go to him and we just don't see, you know, like nothing is, you know, the trees aren't producing fruit, the, you know, uh, we're struggling financially, we're doing this, we're doing that right? We're struggling with our health, all the things. And instead of looking to God and saying, okay, I'm going to rejoice in, in you. I'm going to rejoice in you. And I'm going to shout for joy because you are my God. So I just want to encourage us today. Let's choose. Let's choose this day the Bible says, choose this day whom you will serve. And we do not have to fear because God says, I got you with my mighty righteous right hand and I will help you. It is amazing. The God of the universe loves us so, so much. So regardless of what we're going through and sometimes our hearts Ache. So, for example, with Selena in school, this is a new experience, and she struggles a little bit with it, um, you know, with the, the having that feeling of, like, not wanting to go or not having that feeling of um, nervousness or, or whatever. And I think sometimes it's easy to want to say, okay, okay, it's okay, you don't have to. But there is something to persevering and saying, you know what, I'm going to choose to trust you, God, in this. I'm going to choose to rejoice. I'm going to choose to take this step, and it's okay. And so we have to make hard decisions sometimes. And uh, so anyway, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at the window because the birds see themselves in our, our, our windows are um, like, basically when you look from the outside into our house, the windows, um, you, you just see yourself. <laughs> it's like a mirror. And so anyway, yes, I was distracted there for a second. They're very cute birds. I love our windows for that reason, because you get to see all these beautiful, beautiful birds up close. <laughs> because they can't see you. So anyway, but back to what I was saying, God's, um, God loves us so dearly. And no matter what it is we're walking through, God is faithful and he will carry us through. And we're going to choose to worship him. We're going to choose to trust his mighty right hand that he, that I can take a hold of his hand and walk with him.
I don't have to do it alone. It says that it says I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. He infuses me with his strength. It's not my own. I can do all things with the strength that God gives me. And so I'm so grateful. And I love you all. And this video is going to go on and on if I don't stop. But I love you all. I hope that you're having a great Wednesday. Let's dig into God's word. He loves you so much. If you do not know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I'm telling you, no matter what you're going through, it is worth knowing him as your personal Lord and Savior. Please, please reach out to me, to your pastor, to somebody. Get to know Jesus personally as your Lord and Savior. Call on Jesus. You don't need anybody else or anything else. And if you're calling on Jesus, but going to a witch doctor, stop going to the witch doctor. Let me just tell you something. God wants, he's a jealous God. He is a God that wants full attention. He wants, he is not one that shares. <laughs> He doesn't share because he is king of kings. He is Lord of lords. And when you go to a witch doctor, you're going to the devil. You are, you are linking up with the devil. So let's not do that. <laughs> I love you all. Hope that you're having a great week. And let's dig into God's word and know Jesus. Bye.